Day 20 of the Giant Up Amber Heard trial. We are in the final week, and we got three live witnesses all one day, all for Amber Heard. First was Dr. Richard Moore testifying as to Giant Up's finger injury. He was saying that it could not have been caused by a vodka bottle being thrown directly on top of it. Uh, he said it, mainly relying on the injury to the nail, but he did admit that it was crushed. He did an act out and very incorrectly recreated Giant Depp's hand placement on the bar. And the thing is, the jury has seen this act out. So they're seeing that it's being done incorrectly. He also mentioned that he relied heavily on the initial report to the ER uh, and mentioned that he really felt like the accordion door injury would kind of fit the injury. But that's not even a position that Amber Heard's team is taking at this point. Uh, Camille really laid into him on this as well on cross-examination, the star of the show. She brought up David Kipper's testimony, uh, tes uh, his deposition, where he said Johnny told him in the car while he was cleaning the injury and pointed out that the finger was found in the bar area uh, surrounded by broken bottles. The second expert witness was Dr. David Spiegel, who kind of looks like unpickled Rick. Uh, he was a substance abuse trauma expert, and they kind of shoehorned in IPV under trauma in that umbrella zone. Spoke to depth substance abuse, its effect on his memory, uh, substance abuse's effect on IPV, uh, whether or not he may or may not have been an IPV perpetrator, and then also spoke to narcissistic traits. All of this without ever... Uh, meeting or examining Johnny Depp, and he conflated, and when he got called out on this and, and the ethic rules regarding this, uh, he conflated a psychiatrist never meeting a patient with a medical doctor never meeting a patient, and again, really tried hammering home that this would try to affect expert testimony in toto, but again, there are experts who... who meet the patient, so I don't get how he means this. Uh, his deposition must have been really fun because he called Johnny Depp an idiot and used Pirates of the Caribbean movies and Johnny Depp's deposition as his baseline for how he determined that he has memory problems from substance abuse. Uh, then we got Catherine Arnold. By the way, that guy was admonished multiple times by the judge for talking over people, speaking back. He was really rude. And I don't think he came off very well to the jury. Lastly, there was Catherine Arnold, damages expert, went into Herd's damages, compared her arc of her career to Zendaya, uh, Jason Momoa, Chris Pine, Gal Gadot, and repudiated Johnny Depp's damages claim a little bit. But really the spiciest part of this was the cross-examination where it started sounding like a nerdy podcast. And we found out Johnny Depp's attorney, Wayne Dennison, really likes Dune.